right, let's break it down daily. Hourly chart, five minute chart, 81.56. That's a solid level. Not sure where the lower level came from. Can't see it. 81.56, yeah, there's definitely a level there. See, it was a strong one. You timed your entry well. After the price moved up and down around the level, I'd say this may have continued. Kind of entered on the second bar, smart. Stop loss order and spread overall, it looks fine. When you evaluate your trades, don't immediately think it's bad just because you took a loss. The fact you encountered losses is not a tragedy. Market conditions can cause losses. I have losses as well, but I don't see every trade as bad. No need to focus on mistakes all the time. Excellent trade on the daily chart. Everything's fine here too. Entry was good. Stop loss order was set nicely. The take profit was just a few cents off. A really awesome trade. I'd make the same trade as well. Consolidation on a short time frame. Everything was totally fine. Next time, don't label it as a mistake. Just rate the trade. The trade was good. No errors. Missed a few points, but that's okay. Everything expressed in points. See, here's a question. Why did you set 4 to 1 and not 3 to 1? I don't know your thought process now, Max. So next time, explain why you chose 4 to 1. 3 to 1 asset would produce results. But not sure about 4 to 1. Why did you go for 4 to 1? Okay, let's move on. Perfect daily chart. The level is pretty solid, but it's clear how it was formed. Everything was very good. How can you understand this trade? Uh, but what was the person doing here? What are these quotes? I figured that you traded the false breakout. Next time, explain what you were trading. I wouldn't trade the false breakout here. Definitely not. We could have tried. Look, here's the thing. For those who didn't study, you're picking assets that haven't moved much during the false breakout. In this scenario, the asset only went up 15 cents. This is 10%. During the false breakout, you need to take assets that travel 20-30%. Next time, describe the asset. Uh, let me explain why. When we open the picture, we have to brainstorm what would be in this picture. A false breakout or something else. Next time, just describe to me what you intended to do. Next time, watch how many people there are. Newbies hardly understand what you traded. Was it long or short? What was your trading style? The price has moved in one direction for a bit and then stalled. Let's move on. Solid trade deal, good level, very good accumulation. At the bottom, no complaints. The asset simply didn't move much. Next up, M5, time. Everything always starts with a daily chart. You define the level. The level is marked correctly. Good job. The trade was very well described. Level got confirmed. Two levels. Accumulation is visible between them. Monthly accumulation. Excellent. The trade was very well described. Entered a breakout. Solid stop loss. Clever move. Good deal. Excellently described. Well done. Next up. Next. Was there any way to understand that the price went up and down around the level? Nope. The level was good. We have moved a bit. Just a little. There'd be no way to understand it here. Everything was absolutely normal. Next up. They opened with a gap up daily chart. On a five minute chart, the asset is going for a breakout. Excellent, excellent level. I don't quite get it. Why did you make this trade when you entered? And here, return back. All good. Good deal. I'll explain. I'm not that picky. Look, the daily chart looks awesome. Level 707, excellent. They are trying to sell the asset, but they can't. The stop had to be immediately placed behind the tail of the candlestick. That's one good trade right there. Well done. Next up, five minute chart, daily chart. Excellent. Very good level, rollback level, hourly chart, good, re-entry, all looks good. A re-entry trade, all good, daily chart, magnificent. When the picture remains, it can be traded in continuation of the movement. If you were kicked out by the stop loss, the picture remained. That's okay, you have to re-enter. Next up, yes, the result is a stop trend, solid short. Solid short indeed, explain it to people. I know what the short is, but not everyone does, you have to be very careful. Describe the situation. There is no rollback here. I would look at the asset to be shorted. But next time, describe the picture. Many people do not understand what's going on. Next up. Tough trade. You've got a bit more lucky here. I will explain why. I love it when the price moves near the same level. Like this, see? Price goes up and down around the level. I try not to enter this type of trade. 
but even a five minute chart is not that good. The price went up and down around the level here. I don't really like such trades, but here we were a bit more lucky. Next up, I'll tell you right away, a very tough daily chart. I try not to trade these. This is a very problematic daily chart. When the asset is standing still without a pronounced trend, it can do whatever it wants. Kostya Popov, even when the asset forms a solid level or something similar, its movements are still very broad. I try not to trade such assets. This is a very difficult level, not my trade, seriously. Next up, this trade is really good. Trading the gap closing here, the gap was very strong from 268 to 226. The asset dropped almost 25%. And here we are trading the gap return. Excellent hourly chart. Perfect five minute chart. Amazing. Great trade. But this isn't the level breakout trade, but rather a gap closing trade. Next up, a solid level here. The price went up and down around it, but it looks pretty good over here. And there's some serious resistance ahead. If the take profit is enough. Very well described. Sviatoslav Svetlov, if the take profit is enough. Good trade. The asset holds the level on the five minute chart. The asset clearly holds the level. Going for the second breakout, solid stop loss, set behind the upper boundary. The stop loss size is super small, really great trade. Next, this looks really beautiful. Excellent base on the hourly chart. Great daily chart, great trade. Clear level, entered the primary movement. Could have taken more on all time frames. Uh, excellent, beautiful daily chart, beautiful hourly chart. Truly an A plus trade. Looks fantastic. Next up, a rebound here. Real trade. Martin Ivarinen. So, daily chart. Great trade. Excellent trade. Return to the level. Perfect. Goal. Entering the short zone. The level is good. Excellent trade. On a short time frame. Awesome. Alice Good. Excellent trade. Andre Belus. Excellent trade. Next up. Five-minute chart, daily chart. Excellent trade. Let's take a look. Mirror-like daily chart. I agree. The false breakout entry. I don't see uh, the false breakout. Why? If the asset closed well, there should be a false breakout here. I don't think there is a false breakout here, though. The asset goes back into the level. This doesn't mean that it's a false breakout. This doesn't mean that it's not ready to go. This doesn't mean it'll be a short trade. Any movement requires energy. Why should there be energy for downward movement? Seriously, there's no energy for downward movement here. So make sure to pay very close attention to what the asset is doing. Is there any energy at all? How long did the asset last? What energy does it have? How does it behave? It looks very good, but I wouldn't trade the false breakout here. Next up, great deal. This is a daily chart. The level is excellent. The description is excellent. Really good hourly chart. Buyout, A+. Plus. 